show you how to get this interesting wave edge on the front of this really really sheer jacket. I'm going to cut a strip about a half, an inch and a half wide or two inches depending on how much um, width you want of this fabric so it needs to be on the bias this is very important to be on the bias I'm going to stitch down for the center for a slight gathering stitch and all I'm going to do is wave it uh, a little bit so I'm not going to pull the gathering stitch yet okay now I've got a slight waving stitch and see how I've slightly gathered it but I'm going to pull most of those gathers out because I don't want to have too much and I've already stopped I've got it on this far and I've stopped because I've run out of bias uh, uh, strip and so now I'm just going to add that by placing this turning it slightly under right there and placing this right here and then going onto my um, under my presser foot and then I'm going to uh, start stitching right down the center I'm putting this on the top side of my uh, fabric the right side of the fabric I'm going to stitch a couple of stitches maybe about eight or so depending on where, how much twist you want I'm going to make just a slight wave. I don't want a lot. Do you see how that's just a little bit of wave? I could have a really, really good ruffle if I wanted to. Now I'm going to pull my my presser foot up, put my presser foot up and pull the thread forward and then I'm going to set it right back down. Did you see how I flipped that? Then I'm going to start stitching again same way and I want a little bit of a wave and do you notice that I wasn't even straight on that bias tape I mean bias strip but it's not going to matter because they just go random back and forth now I'm going to flip it again so watch I have flipped that over I pulled my thread loose from this from the um, from the uh, foot and then I'm going to set it right back down and I'm going to stitch again the same way.